voters in New York's third largest city will have a historic option on November 7th. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano is seeking an unprecedented fourth term in office. CBS 2's Tony Aiello spoke with the incumbent and his challenger. Finishing up his 12th year at City Hall, Democrat Mike Spano wants four more years. What Yonkers needs right now is a stable force. Stability matters. Spano cites progress with graduation rates and crime. Yonkers has twice as many people as Albany. This year, Albany has four times more homicides. Spano says police community outreach is making a difference. We think that's having a real positive effect. Crime, uh, bringing down crime, bringing down complaints against our officers. His administration has gone all in on film production facilities, positioning Yonkers as Hollywood on the Hudson. The three studios that are online, three studios that were just finished, three studios are being built. Offering Spano a spirited challenge is City Councilman Anthony Moranti. In addition to being a councilman, I am a CPA and I own two businesses here in the city. Moranti is a Republican, also running on the Restore Term Limits line. He says it was a mistake to overturn limits so Spano could run for a third and now a fourth term. I want to bring back the old um, two four-year terms. He's lost focus on the people. Okay, I'm here to help the people. Moranti says infrastructure will be another focus. Parts of Yonkers plagued by repeated flooding. And while Spano has broken with his party over bail reform, Moranti says he'd do more to push for change. I'm going to push hard for the bail reform. And again, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Spano versus Moranti to lead New York's third largest city. Early in-person voting begins Saturday. In Yonkers, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Mayor Spano is married to CBS 2 News anchor Mary Calvi. She played no role in the reporting or editing of this story.